up. Okay, we're good. Hedrick, what's up, dude? Hail, friend. Here we are. Time to see what the Alliance is up to. This was supposed to be a covert, covert operation. Unfortunately, our trade prince insisted on coming along with the loudest, most conspicuous vehicle the Horde has ever conceived. Oh man, that thing is gaudy, isn't it? At least you're here with me. Let's get this going then. We know next time nothing about Drustfar. We know next to nothing about the Drustfar territory. It's time to do some recon. Stay strong. God, this thing is terrible. Gallywix's war trike. You have to turn back. It's a terrible curse. The others are all get out of my sight. Beware, the witches. Another goblin. I'm getting a bad feeling about these woods. Wait a minute, what is that? Is that a goblin wrapped up in that tree? Keep your weapon sharp. Oh man. Hey, what's up, Caltot? How'd you do that?
The first one? Nice. That's a fun game. Don't worry about it, man. Told you I'd have had a feeling about this place. Goodbye. No time like the present. Gallywix looks flustered after his I ordeal with the crone. You know, uh, I I think maybe we better set up our foothold somewhere else. Maybe up in the mountains. You know, like not here, where the witches are. Yeah, I got a card game to get back to. Take them to the mountains. Wait. There's ore in their hills. No, that's that's your problem, man. Hey, my mining's up to 34. Excellent.
I went the wrong way. Time is money, friend. Your friends were all tortured and killed by witches. Ah, oh, bummer. That's not good. <laughs> I've got some good news. I finally finished up setting up a foothold up here. You want to go check it out? Sure. Let's ride. That guy has poor control on the ice. Frazzle Fraz Outpost. Yeah, that sounds goblin. Hail, friend. There is m there. This is something I can work with. Keep your weapons sharp. I already did a bunch of the legwork setting up the foothold. All we got to do is finish deploying the insta-base technology and we'll be good to go here. Why don't you go and finish the base building? I'm going to see if I can salvage wolf wolfer cycle parts. <laughs> Glad I could help. All right. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> Wormhole stretches out before you. Apparently, you should be able to use this to create a building. Reach inside and pull something out. Hey, look, an interdimensional abomination. Reach inside and pull something out. It feels more like a building. Holy crap. All right. Push the button. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fishing hut constructed. Noise. I think this is going to work. There we go, that's real nice. Hey look, here comes some fresh rocket troops. Oh my god. Nailed it. Talk to me! Now that you have everything set up around here, I'm out of work. I bet you're gonna need a pretty handy engineer. Why don't you take me along with you? Right back! Right. Gallywix. You better be here to make me money. You know, kid, I think I've got it all covered here. My guys will find the Azurite that they can make here, and it'll make me rich. I mean, you know, make the horde rich. Win power. Anyway, you can go n tell Nathanos that we're done here. This base is the best place to launch any attack against the Kultirans here in Drustvar. That's a Gallywix guarantee. Move along. I got deadlines to meet. Turn to Nathanos. Hey, Amy, what is up, lady? Excellent. I thought there might be a flight point back here. What's shaking? All right, let's go back to any point.
about halfway to 115 now. Zug, zug. You need a boat? A message sent? Perhaps some aid in stabbing? <laughs> Take me back. Go with honor. Make it quick. You've established a foothold in Drustvar with the goblins? Good. I will have my men keep an eye on Gallywix's activities there, you know, just in case. Get moving. Drustvar foothold. Excellent. So that's done. The enforcers need to be questioned. That's at the top of the pyramid, if I remember correctly. My Torn looks amazing. Thank you. I think he looks pretty cool. I want to eventually, like, change his armor up, because... I mean, I like the look of some of this, but it also feels a little off. I don't know, maybe once I get a full set... I Now, I do actually have the appearance for a full set, so I should try to stop by a... Uh, transmogrifier and see what it looks like. Kathy's being adorable. I love that shield, though. That shield looks awesome. Kaltot says hi, Cappy. Hi. Cappy says don't talk to me again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's like, oh no! <laughs> no, don't leave. We're joking. You dork. Get back in here. Hey. What's up, dude? <laughs> You're looking to be smashed. Buy some, buy some of my garbage, would you? Is this any good? No, that sucks. Yeah. Does anybody repair one individual piece anymore? Scoot? Yeah, Scoot's being taken care of for now. He told me to come back when I'm more powerful, and I'm assuming that means, like, towards the end of the game. That's what that usually means. There'll be something that tells me to go back and check up on Scoot. Hey, buddy. Speak your business. What can you tell me about General Jacrazet? Do you have a death wish? The general has eyes and ears everywhere. Hmm. Okay. She doesn't want to talk. Hi. What do you ask of this? What can you tell me about him? Why do you ask such questions? Are you trying to get sent to the sands? Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's where I want to go next. And you? What is your business here? I do not ask questions. I follow orders. It would be wise for you to do the same. Find someone who is willing to talk. 
Jacuzet sends his regards. <laughs> That was fast. Amy says hi, Cappy. Hey, you. Yes, you. Are you the one that's been asking around about the general? I am, actually, yes. Speak quickly. Talani sent you, did she? The priest, the princess needs to know that it is no longer safe to ask such questions openly. War guard Rakira spoke out, and no one has heard of her since. Rumor has it she was exiled to Voldoon. The sands walk with me, but let's try to avoid drawing any attention. Wogar Rakira was my commander, the best one this city has ever seen. She told me she was close to proving that General Jacrazet is a traitor to the crown, but I haven't heard from her since. Whatever she uncovered was enough to earn her a trip to the desert. The dunes are a death sentence. I will not stand by and let Rakira be swallowed by the sands. As you can see, there are still some of us who believe the same. Yes? We will not let Rakira and whatever she knows be lost to the sands. Whatever Rakira has uncovered, it was important enough to earn her a death sentence to the sands. We must head into Voldoon to find her. We cannot let whatever she knows about Jack Rosette die with her in the dunes. Zen, ride when you're ready, but let's not waste time. Rakira won't last long in the sands. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the new zone. We need to travel to the swamp. As long as we stay in the air and out of sight, we shouldn't have too much trouble. Nazmir, the Shattered River. This is the Swamp Zone. Kaja, beneath us! What are those things? Let's keep flying and hope we don't find out. I don't even see what she's talking about. Ahead, I see the pass. Fly low and keep an eye out for any sign of Rakira. Kaja, we should adjust course. We're nearing the Sethrak Empire. The Serpent Men? I thought they hid mostly beneath the dunes. It appears their presence has grown. So it has. Let's head west and avoid any unnecessary conflict. It might be too late for that. We need to speed things up. The king has noisy visitors. That could pose a problem. You do your part, General, and I will do mine. Trespassers! You will die in these dunes! Everyone, break ranks! Make your way to safety! Get as far from these snakes as you can! Since we're going down. <laughs> we have orders to kill this one. Let us make it suffer. Not today, snake men. What the shit? You're still alive in there? Any good with that weapon of yours? I'm all out of potions, and there's a whole lot of set rack between me and my wagon. If you're willing to fight, I can sure use some help. The fuck are you? My people will be free. The little fox person. Today is a good day to fight. Everyone. These these snake men will pay for what they've done to my home. 
You might be special if the Sethrek didn't kill you right away. Either that, or you'd fetch a good price at the slave market. Don't worry, though, we're getting out of here. I have a weapon at the entrance, but no weapon to fight with. Luckily, it seems the Sethrek have plenty. Winds at your back, swords in your hands. The staff, a scythe, or some scimitars. Let's take the scythe. Nice choice. I can work with that. Volpera are stronger than we. Using their own weapons against them, I like it. I'm ready. Oh yeah, they're Phoenix. Of course, they're Phoenix. Duh. <laughs> that makes sense, right? A Sethric will regret ever attacking our caravan. The Sethric attacks on our burrows cannot go unanswered. They need to learn that not all within the desert will give up so easily. The only thing that Sethric understands is blood. So that's the language we'll use to teach them. I'm saying we need to kill the Sethric here. All of them. <laughs> Thank you. Kiro, the leader of my caravan, he's always been far too passive. I warned him we needed to make a preemptive strike against the Sethrek, but he insisted that we keep our heads down and continue to quietly do business. Look where that got us. Our caravan was completely unprepared for their attack. Now I'm ready to fight for, uh, for what's ours, but I'm not exactly dressed for battle. Help me scavenge some suitable equipment from here, here among our enemies, and we'll use their own tools against them. Oh, not, not in here, physically. Just here in general. The Abandoned Boroughs. Look what the Sethrak have done to our home. We have dominion over all. It's a dune louse. What a banner. Now the Sethrax will know to fear the Volpera. Volpera. Oh, Volpera. Yeah. Yeah. We weren't prepared for their attack. Yeah. The Sethrak slaughter and enslave without remorse. We eradicate you like insects. I don't think so. Can I jump? Can I hit spacebar? Thank you. Get the skull. Helmets! Oh cool, you have a little skull helmet now. Awesome. Explosives. These Sethrak will pay for what they've done to our home. We travel in caravans, scavenging for supplies and trading where we can. My life for the Empire. Let's get the new gloves. Before we were attacked, I had a plan to take the fight to the Sethrak. I was it was devised with flawless intel. I know because I gathered the information myself. I surveyed their entire compound and created a map based on my findings. My plan relies on that map, but now it's at the hands of Fangcaller Sraka. Sraka? The brute who is leading the assault on my home. Help me kill her so that I can take back what is mine. No problemo. Let's kill some snakes. Oh, can I get up there?
Blast. I think I can do that. Crap. <laughs> oh well. We'll worry about it later. They're all sneaky snakes. They ride hyenas. Interesting. You cannot stop the faithless empire. Will be I found your map. My plans for an attack are both detailed and dangerous. These plans will be our key for taking the fight to the Sethrak. Alright, well let me kill some dudes. I see there's somebody over there trying to figure out how to get up there too. They're all trying to figure out how to get up there. It's not that hard guys, you just gotta go back and drop down to it. It's not gonna have to drop down. Noise. It's a good day to fight. Their blood That's flows good. down the dunes back to their fortress. The Sethrek will think twice before attacking our burrows again. Alright, now's the time we make a run for it. Hopefully my wagon is still nearby. I'll steer us to our hideaway. I just need you to lob explosives onto the Sethrek, who are brave enough to follow Wings us. At your back. Swords in your hands. What's over here? Oh, it was a stool. Ah! Hey, there's ore tucked behind there. Look at that. Sneaky ore. All right, let's mount up. Meow, meow. Meow, meow.
Ah, here's her wagon. And it Where looks like a covered to... wagon. What did I expect? Hang on. This is gonna be a wild ride. Looks like we have company. Light him up. I think we're in the clear. Great work back there. The highway awesome. should be up ahead. We'll be safe there. For a while at least. Dude, there's there alpaca. That's amazing. Yeah, it's just chilling. <laughs> they do. They look so happy to be here. Nisha, thank the Sands you're safe. I always find a way. Is this another survivor? She may not survive for long. Her wounds are severe. Hello, Kiro. This is the troll that you flew with, is it not? She lives for now. Hey, I got an upgrade for the scimitar. Even better. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely an upgrade to what I got. Cool. Mira here found your friend in the dunes. The lightning strike nearly killed her. It might still, without treatment. The wasps within the grove have a painful sting, but their venom also has restorative properties. I can extract what I need from their glands. With an ample amount of venom, we should be able to soothe your friend's wounds. All right, cool. Oh, hi. Hello. Is this troll a friend of yours? I'm so glad Kiro let me keep her. It's a bit... Uh, he's a bit wary of outsiders, but he's a great healer. She'll wake up, I promise. And when she does, she'll be thirsty. The sands are short on water, but you're in luck. The grove that surrounds this camp is filled with prickle vines. You wouldn't want to eat the flesh, but the liquid inside can quench any thirst. Just give them a good squeeze to collect their juice. Yay. You'll be back, right? A playable race? No. I hate to like crush your hopes and dreams there, but no, they are not a they are not one of the new playable races. I think they said they wanted to add a new allied race, uh, a couple of new allied races with every expansion. So, uh, currently speaking, the active allied race that you can unlock is the Zandalari Trolls. And then eventually they will make it so that you can unlock, probably with one of the expansion, with one of the content patches later on, they're going to unlock the Maghar Orcs, to my understanding. 
I may be incorrect in that assessment, but... They do plan on releasing additional allied races, yes. My assumption is that they'll have one allied race that's a version of every existing race. So you're going to have... Right now we have uh, the Tauren and the Blood Elf versions. And we're adding the Troll and the Orc versions. And then they're probably going to go add the Forsaken and the uh, Goblin versions later. That would make sense. Oh yeah, so would I. I think these guys would be a great addition. Since goblins are basically goblins though, they may be including these guys as the goblin version. Because they're also small, you know. That would be kind of neat. I can't see them, Coda. Oh my god, is Coda a ferret? What is that? What are you? It's, it's, it's like a cat fox something, yeah. A weasel? Holy shit, you're right. I think it's a weasel. God, that's adorable. What did you bring okay. me? Poor little Coda has been... hasn't... Has been in quite a tizzy since my friends vanished. I found him out here. I found him here, out cold, after a sting from one of those awful wasps. It's just a tiny bit of sand stinger remedy got Coda right up, though. Take him with you and keep an eye out for the little ones out there. <gasps> what? Take care of yourself. No one else will. He comes with me? No. Oh, it's a polecat. Have you come to trade? He's a polecat. Like how I jumped and did my thunderclap and it worked. I did not expect that to work. That's awesome. Oh, I got all of them. Oops. Well, whatever. I still need prickle, prickle, prickle vine juice. That's how you pronounce it, actually. Prickle, prickle, prickle vine. Just make it sound like you don't know what you're saying. It's real easy. Old man farmer, what is up, dude? How you been, man? I've been doing all right myself. I got a pole cat. I revived him! Yay! Run away, little dude! Run to safety! That sounds so gross. It sounds all splorchy. Survive, pull cat. Yeah. Be 
These things are adorable. Oh, okay. A fair and a ferret is a kind of weasel. So yeah, they're all related. I saved your pole cats. Where's your pole cat? Where's your pole cat? Where's your pole cat? Hi there. Oh, thank goodness. We'll have to keep these little guys away from anything with a big mean stinger out there. Man, I'm gonna be busy. If you could protect Coda's little brother, that would help us out a lot. This is Poda. Huh? Don't die out there. She gave me Poda. Come here, Poda. You earned Poda. Look at him. You're coming with me, Poda. Yeah. Get out of here. Only the Poda. Yeah. Look at his little feet. I thought you were clearing your throat at me like you killed a bunny. No, I choked on my spit, so I was trying to like stop it. Yeah, don't do that. Where is that? Is that in Zuldazar? Oh, it is. Maybe I should go back and do that. All right, Kiro. What have you brought? I brought the venom. These should work well. We go where the sand is I can help. Do you have the juice? Your friend will be thirsty when she wakes. That's a lot of juice. Don't That's a lot of nuts. As promised, here's a balm that should remedy your companion's injuries. Apply it liberally to the bits of exposed flesh. It sh its effect should be felt immediately. Do so you want me to just rub this all over her body? Don't don't be offended. Hero, is that you? Where are we? What can I do for you? Did these creatures come to our aid? The last thing I remember, we were flying over the Sethrek Temple. There was a bland, blinding flash of light, and then everything went dark. It is good to have. It is good to see you are safe. But what of the others? Have they been lost to the sands? You need to head back to the crash site and see if the others survived. I will ask around if these fox people can tell us anything about the Rikera, okay. about Rikera specifically. Well, I know these dunes better than anyone. I found this journal buried in the sands. Kiro tried to toss it in the fire. Our wagon has no space for a diary, Mira. What practical use does it have? I uh, don't tell him I said so, but I think it's fascinating. Can you imagine what kind of secrets it holds? Quite a few pages are missing. But I bet you can recover them out in the dunes. It's never safe to travel alone. Nisha told me you came here in search of an exile, one named Rikira. We don't know her, but we might be able to help you find her. You help us and we help you, deal? We survive by scavenging. We trade what we find, but the Sethrek that raided our burrows made away with many of our knickknacks. I always knew they were ruthless, but never imagined they'd be so greedy. Take back what the Sethrak have taken... And I'll see what uh, I'll see that you are provided safe passage through the dunes. We go where the sands take us. They're so cute. That's nothing another race likes better than when you say, "Oh my God, you're so cute." Have you come to trade? They eat that shit up. All right. Surviving means being resourceful. Got anything for me? There's an emissary here, which means you can get their reputation up. The dunes have everything we need. Scavenged goods Got and repairs. Take care of yourself. No one else will. 
I like the voice acting for this race. It's nice. Hi there. Hello. All right. So first things first, we're gonna head back to the Great Be Seal. I don't know why I'm doing that. Why am I doing this? Stop at the next stop, please. I have a Hearthstone. <laughs> I always do that. Yeah, old man farmer, I don't know if you're still here, but uh, I hope you're interested in World of Warcraft, because we're going to be playing that for a few days, at least. All right. So let's hearth over to the Great Seal instead. Oh, you love WoW? Excellent. I hope you're Horde. going on here? Oh, I guess I could go ahead and sick accept that. Nah. Zandala forever. May bon some DC your enemies before defeat. All right, let's go back to Orgrimmar real quick. Yes, <laughs> for the horde. Good, good friend. Good. Whoops, that is not a flying mount. This is... I had the same problem with Legion when we first played. I think eventually I just started walking everywhere with my flying mount. To avoid confusion, but... We'll get flying soon enough. He lied. Okay, let's do transmog stuff real quick. And see what uh, what things... I don't have shoulders for there yet. I thought I picked up shoulders. Wow, those look... Maybe those are actually them. Because those are dinosaur and they're gold and, and teal. That can't be it. That's purple. Hmm. Can I zoom out? I'm all the way zoomed out. Wow, okay. Teal. Boots. I only have one set of boots. Okay, teal pants. The, te the blue belt. The teal gaunts. My helmet only comes in one color right now. Which is fine. I don't know. Those shoulders don't really go. They're a little too large and gaudy. Those kind of fit. I think we'll just go with that. That's the closest set of shoulders. Alright, and my shield, we're gonna go with the new that one. And then the weapon. We'll probably end up replacing it pretty quickly, but that's okay. We'll save that as the Zandalari set for now. Okay. Cool. Try the Pandaria ones, the Tiger Plate. Oh, too late! <laughs>
Let's go do that quest next. I am listening, Zandala. Forever. Look how big this pyramid is when I start flying away, though. And the fact that they initially want you to walk up and down it on a regular basis. This thing is enormous. I guess it has to kind of encapsulate an entire capital city within mostly one building so it's got to be huge and confusing greetings all right let's see what this is about What do you ask of these Andalari? Rastakhan finally sent someone. I hope you will not be afraid of snakes. The Chuka Zandala. What is your business here? It is good you have come. Dolwatha be under attack by the snake men. As soon as they arrived, they started pulling these weird spire things out of the ground. I've seen a bunch of snake mons with feathers in their capes getting zapped by them. Uh, but not be dying. If it's not, if it not be bad for them, that means it's good for them, and that'd be bad for us. Destroy the spires. Hopefully, whatever boon they're getting will go away, and they'll be easier to kill. As if snake men with swords uh, not be bad enough, they brought a powerful skycaller along. I hear skycallers can tempt great storms into being. Uh, they can. They be to blame for the spires and the lightning flying everywhere. There be one who be wearing a bigger feather than most. Likely Deleter. Calls herself Soul Talk or something qu equally hissy. Don't care. Kill her. Watch yourself within our city. Would you want rich man? Dolwatha be a small village. Got a few farms, some beasts, and a decent view of the swamp. Loa know we not be ready for this. The snake men popped out of the ground and by the hundreds. Slaughtered my beasts, my family, my friends. One minute the earth be rumbling, then next we be running for our lives. I heard about the snake men from the deserts of Voldun, but I never believed I would see them in my life. Help us fight them back, kill as many as you can. The Watha won't be beaten that easily. I can do this. Hey, Gratz, uh, Baka. I forgot your name for a second, even though it's on the screen. But whatever. So what do you play, old man farmer? What's your primary? I don't think you can solo Legion raids, but you could definitely solo Legion dungeons, that's for sure. Raids, you might have to... Ten levels is a little tight. Some of the... You probably do some of them until, like, the last boss or two. 
And then they might get a little difficult. But like, Legion raids really stepped up the difficulty. Until you can solo raids, one more. And not even a complete one. Maybe like halfway through the next one. We could probably two or maybe three man Legion raids. Once once two or three of us are at 120. So if you wanted to do that, I'd be fine with that. Probably need one tank, one healer, and a DPS. And we should be able to do pretty much all the raids. I would think. At worst, we would need a five-man group. I think we might need a five-man group for the, uh, for, like, the endgame raids, like, uh, like the Sargeras one. The tiny armored raptor scratches pitifully at the cage's wooden bars. As you approach, the minuscule reptile wiggles frantically and issues a piercing screech for help. Perhaps you can open the cage and let it free. I'll let him out. Little Tika. Little Tika's master found. He's coming with me! Yeah, dude! Oh, he bit him! <laughs> Holy shit, he bit the snake! Did you see the little the little yeah. bite animation? That's awesome! Bite him again, little Tika! Do it! Yeah, boy! Get him! Apparently, these are the guys that, that put him in the cage. And he doesn't like it. Bite him like a little monkey. The snake people? They're kind of cool looking. I could see them being a a open race, like like the Pandarans are. But I don't really see them being Horde, per se. Or Alliance. But now, every time they introduce a new race of, like, sentient beings, everybody's like... Like, everybody starts going, oh man, this is going to be awesome, it's, which side are they going to be on? But I like it, because... Half of the races I want to pick, too, so it's not like I'm like, no! Loa Blessed Head Chopper. I don't have that appearance yet. Oh, I don't think they'll ever make Vrykul a playable race. I think that's going to be one of the races that kind of are always in the background. I gotta go this way. I'm walking the wrong way. I can't believe I don't have any shoulder pads. I could have sworn I got shoulder pads at some point.
I didn't think he was going to die all the way back here. Don't you have them turned off? I usually turn off most people, yeah. That's just me in general. I'm a big turn off. The sun sets on the Zandalari Empire. The faithless will claim what is left. Yeah, I just feel like there's certain races that shouldn't be, um... Our Empire's dawn is your extinction. That shouldn't be made into a playable race. I can definitely understand how cool it would be, but... Like, the Vrykul, to me, just feel like a race that should not be playable by either side. Because they're not really Horde or Alliance. Yeah, see, like Murlocs. I don't think Murlocs. Dune Stompers. Better than my current ones. What? Putting them on my feet. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that axe so that I get the appearance for that. I think it's just a color change, honestly. Wait, was that in there with, with this? Yeah, Kobolds. I don't think Kobolds should ever be playable. I don't think... Uh... Mom would play a Pandaren? Nice. I could see Mom playing a Panda Lady. Oh no! Little Tika's master found. No! Little Tika's mommy died. Why'd you kill his mom? Deliver little Tika to Beast Mother Jabati. Little Tika? Okay, he's coming. Stop that, Campy. Okay. Don't stop that, though. Sorry. I'm coming. See? I knew it wouldn't work. Little Tika! Is that Tika? What you doing here? Little Tika. Why is she covered in blood? On second thought, never mind. Praise all the Loa. At least this little one made it. Won't bring back the ones we... Oh, he's running around all happy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, little Tika. Oh, it's so good to see you, little one. Thank you. Little Tika wiggles playfully. You'll be a good little face munching raptor baby. You are, you are. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Sorry. Won't bring back the ones we lost, but it'll show them that not even little Dolwatha will be going down without a fight. Watch your back. Do you need protection? I spy a spire. Not so much static in the air now, that's good. Means we did something right. Good. Very good. Uh, let's take the ring. I serve the Zandalari. 
All right. So the ring should swap out. Uh, yeah, the Stormbringer. Okay, good. Is there a flight point near here? Yeah, just right up the road. Greetings. I am Swan. Let's fly into the Volpera hideaway. Yeah, I'm definitely going to hit 115 very shortly. Carbet is a 112 shaman. Nice. You hit 111 today? Awesome, farmer. That feels weird. I've called you old man farmer this whole time. I'm not going to change. I'm going to keep calling you old man farmer. Yeah, I hit 111 last night, and then everything since 111 has been this morning, or today. Not this morning, but... I almost hit 112 yesterday. But I, th I think I was on like 111 and 70% or something. All right. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a short break, everybody. Uh, I am going to stream again a little later, but I'll probably take uh, an hour or two break, and then we'll be back. So make sure to follow me on Twitter and in Discord, and I'll post when I'm getting ready to go live again. But in the meantime, thanks for coming, and we'll see y'all later.